Contend, O Lord, with your contenders. Fight those who fight you. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through in our weakness we fail, may we be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the universe and the heavens, stretched them out who spreads the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I've grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my light's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evil doers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies, they themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. 
Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil, made from genuine aromatic nard, anointed the feet of Jesus, dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Judas the Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was to betray him, said, why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, he held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor with you but you do not always have me. The large crowd found uh, Jesus. Um, he was there, they came. Not only because of him, because also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill him, kill Lazarus too. Many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, continue we, uh, in Holy Week, we also continue hearing the news of the, the, the spread, the drastic spread of the, the coronavirus. And uh, we keep um, trying to keep the positive attitude and keep ourselves going. And uh, probably good just to, again, just to focus on the Lord, focus on good things, focus on God. Um, maybe, you know, turn off the TV every now and then and uh, or look at happy positive things there. And um, just remember, though, as I'm hearing the readings, just that the trust in God, first of all, that gospel reading, you know, what's the basis of it? Is that Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And people keep, kept coming to believe in him. And again, the, the power over death that our faith in our God has. And then our responsorial psalm, going back to, to hang on to scripture, to remember scripture, trust the ones that give you hope and strength. And today, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom should I be afraid? And it says that over and over again. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom should I be afraid? And that can stand for anything. It can be a person. It can be a virus. It can be illness. It, again, to believe in God, to stand up with confidence and strength. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom should I be afraid? You know, it talks about, you know, again, that 
armies come against you, and even then will I trust. It says that too. You know, no matter whatever comes against us, again, so whether it be a person or whether it be uh, a virus, even then it will I trust. You know, it's amazing stories of people's faith as they trust in amazing, amazing things. And there's many of those stories out there. And you have gone through things with your faith too. Deuteronomy 31, 6, I keep coming back to this little card that I found somewhere, but uh, be strong, be compassionate, be courageous, do not be afraid, do not be terrified. The Lord your God goes with you. He will leave you. He will never leave you or forsake you. So we continue to uh, keep having strength and, and prayer and praise. And then, uh, just one more thing, somebody just came and said, humbly ask the parish to pray for the Divine Mercy Chaplet every day uh, for the souls of who have died of this virus without the consolation of the sacraments, even without their family, have been doing it, keep praying for people. And you know, it's a thing uh, to think about that, we'll pray that today, you know, to pray for the souls who have died that don't know the Lord. Uh, and those who are alone, those who, you know, they come, some are now even dying, you know, because they, they don't have anybody around them, they just for the healthcare workers, no family. And so we pray for eternal life and for God's presence with them too. So we're going to continue now and um, continue to pray. And um, I have this little, little paper I found too. And it says this, feel the power and joy of praying with the entire church. And that's what we're doing here. That's what this mass is about. Where every place, every church is praying this, the same scripture reading, the same prayers. And, um, and what is this? United the whole world united, right? Feel the power and joy of praying with the entire church. And uh, again, amazing. Let us then pray. Almighty, eternal God, with confidence, we bring our needs and petitions to the Lord. We pray then for our Holy Father, church leaderships, to give strength and courage to their people and continue to proclaim Jesus during this holy week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil leaders, for our government, for all governments, for wisdom and decisions in difficult times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray your mercy in this outbreak, in this serious illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide our efforts to prevent contagion, that we be diligent in washing our hands and protecting others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Care for the most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Assist professionals and volunteers. Who work to eradicate this epidemic we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer may we our actions be marked by your love selfless service never by panic or fear we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer bestow your comfort and healing to the sick we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer be with families gathered together together give them your comfort, your peace, and help them in their time with each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for struggling families, those who are struggling with monetary issues and other issues. God's guidance is peace and trust in him to be with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray those who have died then, who have been called from this life, those who have died from this illness, those who have died in any way, they come to be with you, with the saints in heaven, through the saving power of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For consolation and peace to mourners who have lost loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear and answer all our prayers. Give us strength and grace and trust in you, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness that we have received this bread, we offer you fruit of the earth, the work of human hands that would come for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine. The work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased, we offer you humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of the Holy Church. Look, look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided cancel the judgment we incurred. Bear us fruit in eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For through Christ our Lord, Though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him he has become the source of eternal salvation. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you, our Father, you are holy. Then look, we pray, upon the people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit. They may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and your daughters. Indeed, though once we were lost, could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, your Son, Jesus, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become a lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, 
broke the bread, gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. But kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake the one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters whom we commend humbly to your mercy. Remember those who have died. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all of eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. We offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter under my roof. When I say the word, my soul shall be to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear toward me on the day when I call speedily. Answer me. Lord God, Lord Jesus, I can't receive you in this sacrament, but I desire you so much in my heart. I receive you in my heart. I pray you protect me. I know that you're with me, and I know that you're going to get me through. And I pray that you be with me all day long. And I receive you spiritually into my heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, with an ever-watching care and love. Look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may be kept safe of this remedy of eternal salvation, that you save us forever, that your mercy is always there, and that we receive it and accept it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble. Keep watch over those you trust with your mercy. May they celebrate your paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but with purity of mind, heart, soul, and being. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God's blessings upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a beautiful day.